Welcome back to MMA Al Dente. I am the guy who picked Alex Perez to fight Matt Schnell. Because they were booked to fight like three times, five times. I don't even fucking know. It was probably closer to five times. And they never fought. But here they are on the same card. Schnell's also fighting on this card against Steve Erseg. And uh, hopefully they both make it into the cage. Alex Perez is who I'm here to talk about right now. He's making his return fighting Mohamed Makayev. My prediction for this fight is Mohamed Makayev wins by submission. It's just what I think is most likely. I think he's got the wrestling that will take away a lot of the options of Perez, who has a very good, effective top game. And I think that wrestling is also going to put him to the test defensively. And that's a test he's been known to fail. But I'm aware that Alex Perez is that next potential next level matchup where he shuts down Muhammad Makayev and he's too much. I thought Tim Elliott could have been that matchup and he came very close to being that fight for him. Uh, really put Muhammad Makayev to the test, but uh, Muhammad Makayev has passed every test and Alex Perez, he has not been around too long. He's his last fight was a year and a half ago. He's his last win was, I don't know, four or five years ago over Juicy A. Formiga, an excellent win. Got got it done with leg kicks. But he's uh, the, still, despite being a former title challenger and having lost to two consecutive world champions, uh, two of the whatever, five or fewer uh, flyweight champions in UFC history, those are his two most recent losses, both submissions. Uh, but despite that, I still think He's uh, going to be submitted here by Muhammad Makayev. I think he's a vulnerable fighter, and I think Muhammad Makayev is uh, that skill. He's got that wrestling, which will be there for him, and he's also got composure way beyond his years, where we've seen him tested. Jafel Filio put his knee at a horrible angle. It looked like that thing was fucked, and he didn't tap, and he forced a tap not long after that, within the same round. So... That alone shows you a lot about Mahab Makayev. I mean, it, every, it was on in round three there, and he took everything Jafel Filio had, and he took his uh, soul after that. I got a little dramatic there, but he finished him. And against Tim Elliott, he was really up against it. I thought he was down two rounds potentially against Tim Elliott. Tim Elliott, who was all over him, and when he was all over Tim Elliott, Tim Elliott was still all over him, striking well from the bottom and working submissions. But in the end, Muhammad Makayev kept himself safe and then capitalized on a Tim Elliott mistake, flattened him uh, on his back as Tim was uh, going for a guillotine and eventually put him away when he needed to. He absolutely needed to. Gun to his head, might have been down round three, and again, he got it done. So he's passed every test. And a, a lot of that is attributable to the fact that he's got 23 amateur fights and he's 23 and 0. And uh, I think uh, nothing, I, I don't think any curveball is really going to catch him by surprise. I don't think there's anything he hasn't felt. The body shot going the wrong way, the fucking kick, kick, whatever. He's going to be able to handle it all. And I think he's going to bully Alex Perez. Perez has only been submitted by very good fighters, aside from the first guy that beat him, but that was over a decade ago. Since then, it's only been UFC-level fighters. Uh, Adam Antolin, who uh, I don't think ever fought in the UFC, but certainly could have. He was on The Ultimate Fighter, and he beat Casey Kenny by a split decision on the Contender Series. Uh, and then he lost to Jared Papazian as well in his next fight after uh, Adam Antolin, I believe. And then he lost twice to Davison Figueredo and Alexandre Pantoja. Those are the four guys to submit him in uh, recent years, in the last 10 years, let's say. The one guy to TKO him is uh, Joseph Benavidez, who, despite never being a champion in the UFC, he's right there in the same class as Figueredo and Pantoja as one of the all-time flyweights. So no shame in the guys he's lost to, and I do think there is a chance that, hey, he just next levels Mikhaev because, you know, uh, you have to put his losses into context. But... Context and whatever aside, I know a weakness when I see one, and it's submission defense. And I do think Muhammad Makayev is going to catch him in one way or another. 
I think Muhammad Makayev uh, could catch him, certainly when he's bullying him with the wrestling and even an opportunistic submission like a guillotine or whatever. I think uh, Makayev's got uh, uh, more than enough there to get him out of there. So Makayev by submission is the pick. I guess I'll go with him winning in round two. Seems fair. But again, I wouldn't be surprised if it came in round one or round three. I just think it's uh, his biggest strength going against the primary weakness of Alex Perez. And uh, as for my bet, I've only bet on the under. They had the under two and a half rounds at plus 125. Now here it's at minus or whatever that is. I, I'm, I don't see the fucking screen in front of me, but it's close to the even money now. And it's, it's dropped a little bit, either plus 105 or minus 105. And I think, uh, I don't think it's going back up, but I do think uh, this fight will end via finish. I just don't see Makayev, uh cruising to a decision here. I think if he has his way with Perez, he's going to go through him with a submission. And you know what? On the flip side, if Alex Perez uh, goes through Mohamed Makayev, I think it's not going to be taking him down and outpointing him. I think it's going to be where he finds a weakness and exploits it. And even then, a, so even then a finish is more likely. So that's the only bet as of now with no props available. Of course, once the props drop, I'll be looking for Makayev by submission. But, uh, I hope it's a good fight, and I do want to see Alex Perez test Mohamed Makayev. I want to see him really test him, and uh, I'm hoping to see that next-level fight. Maybe this is it. What do I know? Like, share, subscribe, all that horse shit, and check out my other videos.